Hello everybody, today we're doing something really not so different for the channel, but definitely different for me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new Trojan called the Key Ranger Ransomware. And as you may have been able to guess, this is a ransomware Trojan that actually runs on OS X. And today we do have a OS X virtual machine to run this on. And as far as I know, this is like the first major ransomware to be on OS X. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. First thing to note that this Trojan came from the Transmission BitTorrent client website. Uh, I suppose their site got hacked and there was an uploaded new version of Transmission that includes this ransomware. So of course it comes as this disk image. Go ahead and mount it. And we'll go ahead and show the package contents. If we go into resources, we have a file called general.rtf. This is the actual payload of the Trojan. And the thing that's interesting about this is that it's actually digitally signed. So it is able to run without any user prompt or any password prompt, I should say. So that is fairly interesting. They were able to get some digital signature stolen from somebody. So to run it, you just copy this to the applications folder. Let me go ahead and figure out how to use OS X. So we'll just copy this bad version of transmission in, and then we should be able to just run it. There we go. Accept the agreement. And right off the bat, the first thing it wants to do is tell you that this version is just completely screwed and you need to update. Of course, we're going to skip that for now. Close this. And we should see a change here in the library folder. So now, as you can see, we do have the Trojan running right now. It has dropped these three files into our library folder. And at this point, it will wait normally three days, and then it will begin the encryption. Of course, we're going to go ahead and speed that up. So go ahead and change the date. Unlock. This is the only time we need a password prompt because we're changing the date. Turn this off. And of course, this is a ransomware Trojan, much like all of the Windows ones, so it'll encrypt mainly documents and you know data files like that. We have a we have an RTF file and we have Asquake. So we should get some encryption going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and advance this four days just to get a result. Go ahead and save it. And it should start encrypting at any moment. There we go. Okay, so I played with the uh, calendar a little bit, and as you can see, it is currently encrypting files. So we'll go ahead and close that now, and we have a nice readme for decrypt, it looks like, in every folder that it was able to encrypt files in. And we open it. Your computer has been locked, and all your files have been encrypted. Go to this onion link and pay them one Bitcoin. So we'll go ahead and check out this onion link here. Now, yes, I know I missed in the last video that they had these onion.to links. So you don't actually need the Tor browser. This will just work. That was my mistake. But anyway, go ahead and load up this link that they gave us. Then the second thing we're supposed to do is use this looks like a Bitcoin address as an ID, so we'll go ahead and paste that into here. And we have some type of payment page here. We're supposed to pay, I suppose, this address, 1BTC. At this point, you're pretty much screwed because as far as I know, there's no way to decrypt these files yet for free. 
there are a couple of ways that you can avoid this malware. One would be to have um, updates enabled in OS X. So that would be around here somewhere. App Store. If you check for updates, you'll get the update because Apple revoked the digital signature that KeyRanger used, so it would show up as malware. And I believe there's some built-in anti-malware in OS X that would have an update for this. Another way to avoid it would be to update your BitTorrent client. So if you're on 2.9 for whatever reason, it should prompt you and yell at you that you need to update it. And the update will actually remove the ransomware. So that is about it for KeyRanger. Thank you all very much for watching and take care.